Now let's talk about access restriction policies. So let's go to create profile operation and open policies. And let's go ahead and add check HTTP header. And let's add a header name, for example, header. And if this header is missing or has a wrong value, it's going to return triple four response code with a message that says wrong header. And this flag is for case sensitive for the value. So let's put a PI with a capital A. And let's go ahead and save our changes. And it didn't work because we need to put this policy in the inbound section in here. Let's go ahead and save our changes. And let's test create profile operation. As you are see, we are getting triple four unknown error because we haven't specified the header name. So let's put the header name as it is and put API in the value. And let's send another request. We are getting 200 response codes. Now let's go ahead and change the value to be API all small letters. And let's send the request one more time. And still it gets 200 response code because we have specified in our policy to ignore the case of the value. And if we want to restrict this, we can go to the check header and make ignore case as false. So in this case, if we have provided API with all small letters at the header value, it's going to be rejected and return triple four response code as well. Now let's go ahead and test create profile operation. And let's provide header with value API all small letters. As you can see, we are getting triple four unknown error because it has to be with capital A. Now let's go back to policies and clean this up. Go to create profile and we can delete a check header policy from here. And let's save our changes. And let's go ahead and add restrict caller IPs. And here you can allow certain IP address ranges to access your API. Or either you can block certain IP address ranges from accessing your API as well. So let's go to the documentation and see what it says. As you can see here, either you can allow or forbid either one IP address or range of IP addresses to interact with your API. And the purpose of this policy is to reduce the attack surface for your API. And here is an example as well. So let's go back to the API management and discard this change. Now, let's go ahead and add another policy and let's look for set code by key. And for this one, we are not going to limit it by number of calls, but by the bandwidth. And I'm going to specify the bandwidth with 1K and it's going to be renewed every 60 seconds. And the counter key is assigned to the subscription. And let's go ahead and save this. As it says here, the minimum number can be here at 300 seconds. So let's go ahead and save this. Now let's go and test create profile API. And as you can see, the second run didn't pass through because it exceeds the code we have specified for the subscription key. Now let's go back to the create profile and remove this policy. and save our changes. Then let's go ahead and add another policy, limit call rate by key, and then let's add two calls, renewed every 60 seconds for API subscription key, and let's save these changes. And let's go ahead and, cre and test create profile operation. This is our first run. This is our second one. This is our third one. It exceeds the throttling limit that we have specified per subscription key for this operation. Now let's go back and remove this limit. Now, let's save our changes as well. Now, let's go ahead and have a look at limit code rate by subscription. And if you look at here, you specify that limit number of calls and let's specify them by two. 
and renewal period 60 seconds and let's remove this piece for now and now let's go ahead and put this limit in the inbound section let's save our changes now let's test create profile operation this is our first run second run this is the third run again getting the throttling error now what if we want to have a more specific limit to this policy so let's take this one off and let's add limit call per subscription What if we want to limit it to calls and renewed every 60 seconds and the API name is LinkedIn profile and the number of calls allowed for this API is 2 and for the operations let's say for create profile it's going to be limited by only one call and for get profile operation limited by another call and let's go ahead and put this in the inbound section and as you can see I cannot save this changes because the scope is different here I am at the operation level and I'm trying to set some policy which is going to act at the API level so it will not get through and to fix this, let's take this policy and put it in and save our changes and put this policy in the product for basic product which has get profile API and let's put it in the inbound policy and let's save our changes. Now let's go to the developer portal. go to products basic linkedin profile create profile let's try this function yep this one works 200 response if we tried it one more time it will not work it will hit the limit that we've specified for this operation and if we go to get profile operation we will still able to hit it one time only before we get the 429 throttling error this is the first one and in the second one we are getting too many requests now let's go back to our product policy and remove this policy and then let's save our changes so far we have seen what are the different ways we can use to restrict access to your APIs and I'm going to put this link in the resources for this lecture. That's it for this lecture. I hope you enjoyed it and please feel free to join me in the next lecture.